हेलो स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज प्रोफेसर किरण बालू मोजार फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंट इन एस यू के टी कॉलेज देवलिक टुडे वी हैव डिस्कस द सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर्स नेक्स्ट मैथमेटिकल कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर्स देन कंसेप्ट ऑफ लिनियर सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन एंड लास्ट डिराइव द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन्स नेक्स्ट डिराइव द इक्वेशन ऑफ लिनियर सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन टूडेज वी हैव डिस्कस a simple harmonic oscillators and that mathematical expression next a linear simple harmonic motion and their differential form of linear simple harmonic motion and next equation of linear simple harmonic motion first of all simple harmonic motion suppose we know that there exist a <coughs> exist at a point the force acting is zero this is known as a equilibrium position of that particles next the taylor series expansion v of x about x is equal to x naught which is given as that means suppose the particle the displacement of the particle is zero that position is the equilibrium position of the particle and suppose the displacement is x naught it is a very uh, very small displacement they are applied to taylor series in expansions about x is equal to x naught which is given as v of x is equal to v of x naught plus dv upon dx x minus x naught plus 1 upon 2 factorial d square v upon dx square bracket into bracket x minus x naught bracket square here the first term of dv upon dx means x minus x naught this term is neglected because the x is equal to x naught we know that dv upon dx is equal to 0 the corresponding to minimum at x is equal to x naught thus we can write the potential energy as v of x is equal to v of x naught plus half into d square v upon dx square into bracket x minus x naught bracket square plus dot 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 in above expression the higher order terms are neglected then v of x naught is a potential energy at equilibrium it it is a minimum and from harmonic motion can be chosen as zero hence v of x naught is equal to zero then we get v of x is equal to half into d square v upon dx square bracket x minus x naught bracket square or v of x is equal to half k bracket x is equal to x naught where k is equal to d square v upon dx square for the stable equilibrium the potential energy at position x is equal to x naught must be minimum therefore d square v upon dx square is greater than 0 hence k is positive it we choose the equilibrium position to be the origin of coordinate system x naught is equal to 0 the simple <coughs> hence v of x is equal to half kx square the potential is a parabolic potential it is a shown in a figure this figure shows 
as the y axis is the potential and x axis is displacement and this figure is shown that the potential uh, parabolic potentials the force acting on particle is given as f is equal to minus dv upon dx is equal to minus d upon dx and substitute the value of v is half kx square the deri <coughs> how uh, the constant is out of the derivative means half k is a uh, out of the derivative and derivative of x square is 2x 2 or 1 upon 2 the denominator 2 is cancel therefore minus f is equal to minus k into x thus the force acting on the particle is directly proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium position and is directed opposite to the displacement such an oscillators uh, oscillating particles is called simple harmonic oscillator and its motion is called simple harmonic motion the constant k is called as force constant next linear <coughs> simple uh, sorry next definition linear simple next topic linear simple harmonic motion the definition a body is said to be perform simple uh, linear simple harmonic motion if it is acted upon by a restoring force is first directly proportional to the linear displacement from the mean position and second is directed opposite to the displacement that is toward the mean position let <coughs> x be the displacement from mean position at an instant then from the definition of linear simple harmonic motion we have the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement f is directly therefore f is directly proportional to the x and f is equal to minus k into x where k is proportionality constant is called restoring force constant and it is defined as the restoring force required for unit linear displacement next according to newton's law of second law of motion the force is equal to mass into acceleration therefore f is equal to m into the acceleration is d square upon uh, sorry d square x upon dt square hence substitute the value of f therefore m d square x upon dt square is equal to minus kx minus kx goes to opposite side therefore is positive m d square x upon dt square plus kx is equal to 0 this equation can be written as d square x upon dt square plus k upon m into x is equal to 0 the above equation is divided by m therefore this equation is d square x upon dt square plus k upon m x is equal to 0 this equation involves is the derivative and there a differential equations of sim linear simple harmonic motion let omega square is equal to k upon m the substitute the k upon m therefore d square x upon dt square is equal to omega square x is equal to 0 this equation is called the differential equation of motion of a simple harmonic oscillators this is the second order linear and homogeneous differential equation in x the solution of above differential equations gives the displacement of the partial form partial form the mean position at an instant let the operator d square upon dt square is equal to d square hence the above equation becomes d square x plus omega square x is equal to 0 
the bracket d square plus omega square into common x is equal to 0. The x goes to opposite sides. Therefore, 0 upon x is equal to 0. Therefore, d square omega square is equal to 0. Next, the d square is equal to omega square goes to the opposite side. This is a minus omega square. d square is equal to minus omega square. Taking square root on both the side, d is equal to plus minus i into omega, where i is equal to under root minus 1. Thus, there are two possible solutions e raised to i omega t and e raised to minus i omega t. The general solution of linear combination of, uh, <coughs> of these two solutions x is equal to a1 e raised to i omega t plus a2 e raised to minus i omega t. We have e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin, th uh, I sin theta and e raised to minus i theta is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta. Hence, above equation can be written as x is equal to a1 bracket cos omega t plus i sin omega t plus a2 bracket cos omega t minus i sin omega t. Therefore, the x is equal to a1 plus a2 bracket close cos omega t plus i bracket a1 minus a2 sin omega t. A1 and A2 are constants and can be chosen such that A1 plus A2 is equal to A sin phi and I A2 minus A1 minus A2 bracket close is equal to I cos phi. This is substitute in above equation where A and phi are constants. Therefore, x is equal to A sin phi cos omega t plus A cos phi sin omega t where uh, a is a common, therefore x is equal to a bracket sin phi cos omega t plus cos phi sin omega t, which gives the x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi. This is the uh, trigonometric formula sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Uh, above equation is called the equation of linear simple harmonic motion. A is called the amplitude and omega is called angular frequency of the oscillators. Thank you. Summary. The simple harmonic oscillators, mathematical expression and next we have studied the linear simple harmonic motion and their definitions. Next the differential form of linear simple harmonic motion and last derive the equation of linear simple harmonic motion. Student assignment. First, define the linear simple harmonic motion and second, define the simple harmonic motion. Give the differential equation of simple harmonic motion and obtain its solution. Precap means Next lecture we have discussed the phase of simple harmonic motion, periods time of uh, periodic time of simple harmonic motion, frequency of simple harmonic motion, velocity of part, uh, particle in simple harmonic motion, next acceleration in simple harmonic motion and last energy in simple harmonic motion. This is the characteristics of simple harmonic motions.